Hello, how y'all doing? I'm talking about the cold and the flu this morning. Now, I had a severe cold the whole Christmas holiday from last Monday to this Monday. Uh, the whole Christmas holiday. Uh, you know, the retroviruses, that the co that's what the cold is, retroviruses last, what, seven days. The lifespan is seven days. And, you know, I went through the whole seven days. And um, what I come to understand is that everybody has the cold virus. Everybody has the cold vi virus on their body. But what it takes is to activate these viruses is an abrupt decrease in temperature. Because I went outside, I just had like a polo shirt on and a scarf, and I went outside trying to take that perfect picture. And the next day I had a cold. So the cold virus, it seems to go with the ebb and flow of the human body. I mean, in the morning, your sinuses are clear, you can blow your nose and all that. And then after 5 p.m., your sinuses swell. As you're getting ready for nighttime, your sinuses swell. You're starting to go to bed and then you can't breathe. And like I said, these cold viruses, what they call retroviruses, um, they are activated by an abrupt decrease or any type of change in temperature. I mean, even if you're coming out of a spa, which is very hot, and, and then you go into regular outdoors, you can get a cold. Why? Because that is an abrupt change in temperature. Okay, now I spent over $20 in medications. Now, I don't like to spend money. I spent over $20 in medication, top of the line medications, Dayquil, Nike, Nyquil, uh, CVS. And uh, what I found out is that they were very expensive medications, but they only had like a dime's over $20. They only had like the combined cost of all those medications was well over $20. But they only had about a dime's worth of medication in there. So I actually had to take double and triple the dosage to even get some relief to get my nose unstopped to breathe and so on. And rather than taking it every four hours, I was taking it every three hours. Because the medications out there, which cost a lot of money, only have about a dime's worth of edu uh, not education, a dime's worth of medication. Okay, so the drug company is making like 17,000% profit because they only put about a dime's worth of medication in that $20 medication and the rest is jello. Okay, that's all it is, is jello. And so what I recommend you do, you can take these medications if you want to, but what I really recommend you do is uh, try to... Um, Increase your immune system by taking the traditional folk medicine, you know, garlic if you want to, honey, horseradish, ginger, and so on. Try to um, boost your immune system. Take vitamin C and, and other vitamins. Um, but, but like I said, when I don't, I don't get a cold for like at least the last 20 years. Um, I've had colds 30 years ago. I used to get two colds a year, one in the winter, one in the spring, just 30 years ago, like clockwork. And I used to take contact and contracts and um, one in the morning, one at night, I could breathe and function all day. But I could not find those two drugs anywhere in, in the grocery, in the uh, stores, could not find those two drugs. Why? Because they work and the drug companies are not making enough profit. So they took contact and contracts off the market because I definitely did not see it. And they have these new drugs called NyQuil, DayQuil, CVS, whatever, and they only have a dime's worth of medication in it, and the rest is just jello. And so, um, but why do they take contact and contracts off the market? Because they work. They had real medications in them, and the drug companies were not making enough profit. So look, just put a dime's worth, charge people $20, for, uh, for all these medications, at least $14 for uh, medications and, you know, more money if you buy more and only put a dime's worth, okay, let's say $14 for a packet of medications, which is only going to last you about two or three days anyway, okay, and put a dime's worth of medications in it and the rest is jello. And so the drug companies make 17,000% profit from all these very expensive cold medicines. Okay, and the rest is jello. So, you know what, my opinion, just take 
just boost your immune system by the traditional folk medicine okay you can take these medications if you want to but i was i wasted my time and money now the flu i've had the flu one time in my lifetime and it was it was bad too uh i tried to separate myself from the household because it was you know it, i was really aching and it was really bad and but then i understood how people get the flu so what i try to do is prevent the flu you know um I try to cover myself up in the grocery store. You can wear a, a you know a dust mask or whatever you want to in the grocery store. I try to stay away from people with the flu. If people are coughing, I get away from them. Um, if I'm outside and people are coughing, I just cover myself with my shawl. Uh, the grocery store, I do the same thing. And after about August to December, I stay away from gatherings because any type of festival any type of gatherings because that's where all those germs are just flying from one person to another is at the gatherings uh so that's what i try to do about the flu i just don't go to the gatherings particularly in november and december when the flu is rampant i don't go to any gatherings and ironically that's when all the gatherings are that's when all the concerts and uh festivals are is in november and december but i tr i stay away from, from august to december i stay away from the gatherings and I, that's how I prevent the flu. Now, over the years, I have not taken a flu shot because uh, a lot of people had a lot of bad reactions, so I did not take it. But this year, I did take the flu shot. Uh, it didn't hurt because there's different strains going around. And in about three more months, when I see my doctor again, I'll take the pneumonia shot. Because what happens as you age, your, your immune system gets weaker and weaker. So... I do recommend you uh, try to avoid the flu, the cold and the flu, by avoiding these abrupt changes in temperature. You know, when you go outside, bundle up, stay away from people with the cold and the flu. Uh, you know, when you go to the grocery store, wrap your nose or wear a dust mask or whatever those surgical masks are. Um, and boost your immune system with the traditional folk medicine. Have a nice day.